Thank you for watching this video on the steps to create a consolidated tax return with ProSystem FX Tax. We'll begin with working through the required entries to produce an 1120, 1120S, and 1065 consolidation. We'll conclude with taking a look at the ease of navigation from separate returns and batch calculating all returns in the consolidation. Within the 1120 consolidation for each separate return, go to the category bar, choose general, then the basic data worksheet. In the general section, move down to the code for consolidated return and enter in the code for the parent, each of the subs, and for the consolidation. Also, be sure to check the box that the return may be included in a consolidated return. These entries are not applicable for S-Corp and partnership consolidations. I've taken us on over to the consolidation and en after entering the code for a consolidated return and checking the box that the return will be included in a consolidated return, let's go to the category bar, choose consolidated, and to membership information. Enter in on row one for company number one, the consolidation. Do not enter in an EIN, nor enter in a client ID for the consolidation. In the case of an 1120 consolidation, on row two, company number two, this must be the parent. Go to the client ID field, right click, and choose lookup value, and scan through your returns to find the parent. After entering in the parent, do the same for each and every row for subsidiaries by right-clicking and choosing the lookup value to find your subsidiaries. I've taken us on over to an S corporation return and for S corp and partnership consolidations on row two, company number two, please put in the predominant entity that would include all shareholder information or all partner information. For the consolidation to pull the shareholder or partner information into the consolidation, check the box for that row two, company number two, check the common parent box for the partner or shareholder information to pull into the consolidation. As an alternative, you may enter shareholder or partner information in the consolidation. In that case, be sure to not check the common parent box for company number two. After entering the membership information in the consolidated tax return, ProSystem FX tax allows you from the consolidated return to view the consolidation tree and all of the returns from the return group button down in the lower left hand corner of the navigation panel. Click on that return group button where you see me throwing the circle around it and you'll see all of your included companies from the membership information. Each return in the consolidated tree has an icon associated with the return. Returns that need to be calculated will have a calc button on them. Returns that have been qualified for electronic filing will have an icon with a Q on it. To batch calc all returns in the consolidation, go to calc on the menu bar and choose return group. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found it helpful. For additional training resources, please click the link below and visit our training and consulting webpage. Thank you and have a great day.